Kyo Sho and Kang Kyo Sho. Their opposition here is uh, one of the clubs from France. Correct, Billy. They are from my region, from the south of France, from Arles, which is a very beautiful city. And very surprising that they uh, they reached the, the, the middle really? place, so it's good. It's a very good performance for them. So are any of these players part of the national team yet or not? Not yet. So the team that we just watched, these guys will be challenging for their places? Probably yes in the future. We have the future here. Yeah. Maybe we have 2020 already. Perhaps. An opportunity for Argentina next year, maybe, for the Olympics? For the Youth Olympic? Yes, we'll see. But we have, uh, we have potential here. And I, I think it's, it's uh, a really good point you make about what, how, how karate, the facets of karate, the martial art of karate, everything, everything flows from that, doesn't it? Because those values are so installed in everything that karate does. Yeah, we try to, to, uh, to uh, communicate another level also of the value. Also, the message is important. It's about respect as well. As well. Yeah. And here we have the Russian team have chosen the Kata Ansu from the Shotokan system. And a key part of the performance is, as Herb, you mentioned earlier, the synchronization, making them all move together. And that's very difficult to, to do this in synchronization. Everybody to drop to the floor and deliver the kick at the same time. Especially in this kata where we're going to have a jump and uh, synchronization will be very difficult here. Here's where the audience are giving a little bit of assistance to get the team ready for the jump. That completes the performance of the kata on Su. We still have four minutes to deliver the bunkai. three different individuals here but we have seen some spectacular twins in kata teams france had the amazing twins the female uh, the female jessica Buell. brilliant weren't they yeah Absolutely that was brilliant. amazing they were twins so it was a perfect synchronization between themselves and the third uh, one the third competitor in the team was also very synchronized with them. So they have been several time world champion, in fact. Yes, yes, that's right. And, and, and uh, we've seen twins in Kata teams in, uh, in, uh, from other countries. I've yet to see triplets. Really? I haven't seen triplets as a team yet. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> very close. Crashing heads there together because if there was an injury resulting from uh, the, the bunkai, then the consequences are quite severe to the team, aren't they? The referees and the judge will take the same decision as per in Kumite. They will be penalized. Yeah. That's exactly the part of the kata. That's a good explanation, isn't it? It's a good demonstration of the moves. When, when, we, when we first had Bunkai, when Bunkai was first being introduced, so, there was some really quite different techniques that had little resemblance to kata. So uh, it's good that it's good that the you know they haven't been allowed to go you know too creative. I think some competitors and some teams have been trying to speculate too much with the, the 
spectacular side of the explanation. Sometimes it was too spectacular, but it has nothing to do with the kata anymore. Yes. So now yeah. the teams try to come back on really on the kata explanation. This is a, a, a pretty realistic performance. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> dramatic yeah. fall. I know in the rules, the, the rule says that uh, kata is not a theatrical performance. We understand that. But it is choreographed, and these are controlled techniques. It's not trying to replicate uh, a fight. You know, it's not to demonstrate violence, that's not what karate is about. But it is about demonstrating skill. And that was a that was a good performance from the Russian Karate Federation of Ansu. Now we have uh, the team uh, of yeah. Arles. Uh, where are they from? Arles. Arles is Arles. Uh, in the south Arles. of France, Arles. close to Avignon. We have uh, brothers here. Not twins. And they're also going to perform on Sue, so it gives you an opportunity to make the comparison. Also, one important criteria is about the control of the breathing as well, Billy. Yes. So some competitors speculate also with breathing, too much breathing, uncontrolled breathing also. And the judge have been also informed about that, and uh, they will pay attention of these points as well. So they're looking for the, for the breath to come from the diaphragm. Yes. So you have hara, yes. tension in the stomach, as opposed to from the throat and just making uh, the noises. That was a very good jump. Interesting, because the timing of the performance of the kata was almost identical. Mm. With just, just about two minutes to perform the kata. Very good control there. Great skill. I think if they can make the difference, it will be in the bunkai. But the katai was almost very close. Close performance. Yes, yes. Well, that was incredible speed. One or two of the techniques a little bit, a little bit out. But if if the team from Alès can overcome the Russian national federation team, that would be a, an amazing sculpt, wouldn't it? Very good. Very good. 
So do do the uh, did these individuals decide for themselves what moves they will use, or has the coach decided what the choreography for the bunkai would be? I think the bunkai is a, is, is a teamwork really between the team and between the, the coach also. Uh, as you mentioned before, the bunkai is totally free. The kata is not free. The, the kata yeah. is extremely strict, very precise. But the bunkai is totally free, so they have to be uh, according to the rules to be to the explanation of the kata in the same time but also to be spectacular enough in order to gain the attention of the judge but uh, it's a compromise with the coach also yes but there's been some real spectacular throws and in this kicks in this performance of the kata ansu one minute, 40 seconds, still on the clock. Definitely the rhythm, the speed is much higher with yes. The, uh, yes. the French uh, team now. So they take more risk for sure. Will it be considered by the judge? Question mark. That finishes the cutter. We'll wait and see now. One minute, seven seconds left. Both teams performing on Sue. And what is the result to be? And it's a 5 0 score to France. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That's a great statement. They take a bronze medal for the club here at the Karate One Premier League. First of the five Karate One Premier Leagues for the 2017 series. Beating Russia. Yeah, it's a great achievement for this club. Uh, at the international level in Paris, Karate One Premier League, uh, believe for them. Yes. So, yeah, of course. And interestingly, making the comparison between the performance of the French national under 21 team just now, that was very, very good. So I think they're so they, they have to make sure that that national team is going to work hard, even harder yeah. to keep ahead of these guys. Yeah, I think we need we need to have this kind of motivation. We we have of course the national team, but we need to have people coming. Just after, keeping just that beside, pressure, yeah. keeping that pressure. Yeah, all exactly, the time. and that's uh, that demonstrates good health. And, you know, to be honest, uh, it does reflect on the depth of talent here in France because this team would be good enough for many nations. They would enter them as their national team. Can we borrow them, please? <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> <laughs> You say both, right? Yes. 